Well guys, he's gone. Hans has left for Wisconsin for the week. Um, I was pretty sad this morning. He had to leave pretty early and I woke up and was able to say goodbye and stuff and Allie was pretty sad but he didn't cry. Alistair cried kind of a lot last night actually when they were when Hans was talking to Alistair about how he was going to be gone but this morning he was okay and yeah we're just going to try to keep really busy this week um, and I won't be focusing on my Etsy shop just because I don't know you know just getting used to Hans being gone I just don't want extra stress and I just want the week to be a little bit more laid back so that I can just get used to not having him be here at all. But I just downloaded Skype on my phone and I've never used it before but Hans, I have an iPhone and Hans doesn't so we can't do FaceTime but we will be able to Skype and yeah if you, if you guys have uh, are married to someone who is gone frequently let me know what you do to kind of get used to it or to make the time go by fast. I would love to hear about it. Alistair and I are getting ready to go to my friend Kaylee's house. Um, Alistair is so excited to play with London and it's kind of a gloomy day out so I'm glad that we're like getting out of the house because the weather definitely affects my mood. I already feel like a little emotional today but I'm okay and I just gotta say that I am so damn proud of Hans. He has been extremely unhappy at his job, his last job, for a while now. At least a year, probably longer. And I have always felt terrible that he just stuck it out. He was just kind of looking for the right job. He didn't want to just quit just because he was unhappy, which really, really sucks because I hate knowing that so many people do have to work at a job that they hate. So I've always felt really bad that he's been so unhappy at his job. I've even talked about me getting a job part time but it just never made sense because paying for daycare is just stupid and Hans really loves the idea of me being home with Alistair. He would have been fine with being like a stay at home parent if I worked but I wouldn't have been able to get a job that paid as much as he was making so he literally just stuck it out you know to pr provide for our family and while he was kind of he was he's been looking for a job but he didn't want to just like settle and get a job that he was not going to love also and so this opportunity came up and he knew that this opportunity was going to come up uh it was talked about with his new with the new owner of his company for a while but they had to just basically wait for just the right timing so I'm just so happy and proud of him like he has worked really really hard to learn the stuff that he knows at his old job in order to basically be eligible for this current job and yeah I'm just so happy to be married to him he makes me so happy and I don't know it just it just makes me so excited to know that he is so excited for this job and it's gonna suck that he's away but it's temporary and his overall happiness is extremely important to me and I just love him so much so yeah I'm excited for that <laughs> I'm excited that I love him so much I don't know anyways well Ali and I are gonna finish finish getting dressed and then we'll head out the door we are at the post office now I have a ton of stuff I need to send off um, I just got done having a giveaway and I was meaning to send the stuff off on Saturday, but I can't remember why I didn't. Something happened. So we're going to go send this stuff off and we're going to check our P.O. box. Someone got dressed by themselves today. <laughs> you cuties! <laughs> Play days. Are you guys ready to go to the park? Yeah. Let's go. So we left London's house, or Kaylee's house, and now we're at Fred Meyer. We need to get a few groceries, just a couple, for dinner, and I think I'm going to dye my hair tonight, so gotta get some hair dye. All right, just kidding. Didn't do my hair yet because I'm hungry. Alistair has already ate dinner, and it's 8.30. He's about ready to get into bed, but I'm going to finish making my dinner really quick so that it'll be ready 
after I get him in bed and then I will eat. And I'm making a really good dinner tonight. I should have filmed earlier. I made my own sushi. I've actually made a video or like a recipe video on it a while ago. If I can find it, I will have the link for you guys. But I am going to make the veggie rolls right now and I thought I would just kind of give you a quick overview how I do it. And I'm so excited because I'm hungry. So uh, yes, after I eat and when he's in bed and stuff, then I'm going to dye my hair. So let's uh, get cooking. London and I have a holiday because I wait, wait, love slow his. Down. <laughs> wait, you what? You okay? So you said you love London and what else? Oh, well, I love London so much, and I do have a holiday because I miss her so bad. <laughs> he was. He said he has yeah. a heartache because he misses London so much. I have no clue where he heard. Like, so we were driving home. Stop from London's house and Alistair was talking about how bad he missed her and he was like really like getting into it. he's like mommy he's like it just hurts really really bad he's Aww. like I do have heartache because I miss her so bad he's like I miss her badder than I miss daddy I was like oh my gosh <sighs> and she I guess is talking about Alistair so much like they're in love <laughs> so cute if you guys have kids around Allie's age, what do you guys think about that? You think they can really be in love? What do you think? Stop, you're being gross. So Allie's getting into bed and guess what guys, he's in my bed. So I didn't want to sleep by myself so I asked Allie if he wanted to sleep in my bed and he never sleeps with us. So I didn't think he would want to but he said that he did so. Yeah, I don't know. He likes sleeping in his own bed, so I'm not like worried that I'm starting a bad habit or anything. Thank you, bye bye. So guys, I, I'm not going to end up dyeing my hair tonight. Stop, please. Because I am filming a Halloween video for my craft channel, and I will probably be up late doing that, so I'm gonna dye my hair tomorrow. So sorry to get you all excited. But yes, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching our vlogs. We appreciate you guys a lot. And we'll talk to you later. Peace. Bye. Regular bye.